Halloween. I mean, even straight boys wear a dress at Halloween. But I had never put on a dress till about five years ago, and then I decided, I want to do comedy. I don't think I have the courage as, as, as me to do comedy, so I'll create this character. I know, I'll create this this character, and I'll just wear a dress, and I'll just be pretty. That's what I'll do. Well, I don't know if it's funny, but it feels pretty. <laughs> walking in heels. Let me tell you, you girls, oh my God, my cousin, one of the very first people I ever kind of started to come out to and, and confess that, I think I'm a little different. I don't know what to do about it. Well, that cousin is actually in the room tonight, and she, this is the first time she's ever seen me in a dress. <laughs> different. I don't know. I just feel like I'm just not like all the other boys at school. And she's like, well, honey, it's okay. you got to be yourself. And don't, you know, it's okay. You just, you'll figure it out. And I figured it out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All I can say is thank God mommy and daddy both are gone, right? <laughs> Bless their hearts, because daddy's probably spinning. <laughs> Switch that out. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'm switching that out now. Okay, well I can do that. Oh, it doesn't feel as good. It's I don't like to hold on to things that aren't as big. <laughs> this one, I'm not used to holding anything this small in my hands. Oh. <laughs> but you know, I just hate homophobia. I've decided one of the biggest homophobes that I can I can even imagine has got to be Rand Paul. I don't want to do the whole political thing, but I think he is probably so homophobic he won't even masturbate because it involves having sex with a man. I'm just saying. I bet you anything. <laughs> and you know, for years they thought homosexuality was, a, was an illness. Remember that? So I've decided that's not a bad idea. So Mark, I'm calling in sick Monday. I'm calling in queer to work Monday, okay? <laughs>